All right, people, here we are in NU. Thank goodness they didn't bring Blastoise, because I'm kind of scared of that Pokemon, man. It just sets up and wins, kind of. Um, but we got Banded first impression. Who are they going to lead off with here? Either way. Well, unless they're... Unless they're going to be freaking... Uh, Brave Bird. If they are Gale Wings, then we just go out into Diancie. And... Then they don't have Gale Wings anymore if they go for Brave Bird. So, that's the plan here. Rotom can Volt Switch out on anything. Unfortunately, my Rotom got completely destroyed the other day by um, Hollow Memicu. Um, so, I'm just going to have to try to get it to put in some work this time. So, who do I want to show off? I kind of want to show off my own Diancie, not going to lie. And it can put in some work, honestly. Versus a good amount of their team. Also, show off the Silvali. Completely obliterate their own Diancie. Let's get some work put in. Alright, what's the lead here, friend? Diancie. Nice. Perfect. They're going to be scared out. And I can just freely bolt switch out. Do they have any Leaf Storm switchings? I mean, obviously they have Talonflame. I'm going to just Volt Switch here. I don't care if they stay in or not. If they stay in, that's the easiest switch. In. Well, doesn't this thing get Mystical Fire now? Either way, I'm sure Savali can eat it up. It has 95 stats across the board, so its defenses are pretty decent. Oh my goodness, my cat's going crazy, huh? Alright, so let's see what they want to do here. Glad to be back getting these Wi-Fi battles. And I still need to finish Legends Arceus, though, because I really want to get the freaking Arceus in, in both. They really stayed in versus them. That's crazy. They could honestly go for Mystical Fire. Or Iron Defense or something like that. I'll also go for Moonblast. You know what, who cares? I'm still sending in Savali. Even if you go for Mystical Fire, it's not going to do that much. This thing isn't Mega Diancie. They just get rocks out, that's cool. Let me see, do you have any switch-ins to this thing? Um... We go Talon Flame. Maybe I hard switch out into Aquario? On a Talon Flame? Or maybe I go this set my own rocks. On Talon Flame coming in. Nice little double. I'm trying to think. Let me see. Volt Switch is almost half the base power of Leaf Storm. And then Leaf Storm is times two. So I'm not even sure if a Leaf Storm would have killed that thing, honestly. It appears to be some sort of death. Of course, I'm not Specs or anything, so. But I think that should have at least put it in range of a Leaf Storm. Yeah. Perfect. So I am Spadef on this thing. Do I want rocks? I'm gonna go for a diamond storm, see how much I do. Completely eat that up. We do get burned, unfortunately, which sucks because diamond storm is a physical move. And I miss on top of that, that sucks. So I get absolutely nothing out of this turn, man. That's okay, I still have moon blast as a attack. It just sucks because I'm. I really wanted to put in work with the getting the defense boost into body press on something, but whatever. We'll just go for stealth rocks. 
That freaking sucks. It's alright though, it's not like Diancy with my main way of dealing with this thing. I have a Rotom. They keep firing off Skull, that's perfectly fine. Kind of suck though that my main way of dealing with Tom Flame is getting whittled down. But that's okay. Bringing Green Works. I guess that's on me trying to beat a Mantine with a Rock type on, but you know, I wanted to get something out of the turn. Dang, bro, 100% burn rate. And yet, when I go for Skull, it never burns. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Pour something to take rocks, and then we can, um... Hopefully put in some work with something else. Now I really wish I had put Thunder Fang on my Silvali instead of U-Turn. Honestly, if I can be honest here. It sucks though, because Mantine doesn't have as good physical defense as it does with death, so... I would have liked to have gotten some full chip. I couldn't even get half chip, man. Burn into miss, into double skull miss. That's or double skull burn, that's crazy, bro. Alright, yeah, you gotta get the heck out of there. Getting nice and shipped. Send this thing in. Go for a nice rapid spin, get a little speed boost going. I was gonna really, and this way I uh, speed Talon Flame. And then I can potentially meteor, meteor Beam something afterwards. So a Meteor Beam into a Side Shock should kill a frickin' Mantine according to my calculations. Not to mention that I'm analytic. It's so crazy that Starmie's down here, bro. I mean, this thing... In Gen 6, I'm pretty sure it was OU. Like, I was using Starmie regularly. Supreme Stealth Rocker. I mean, at that point, it was kind of... No, I want to say it was better than Excadrill, but I mean, you could you deal with Excadrill because it was faster. They're really going to stay in here, bro. They don't care, man. It's fine. What are you going to do to me? They're going to go for a Diamond Storm. Jeez, man, it does a lot. And with a nice surf. Maybe I should meteor beam? I don't know. They're, they're ballsy trying to stay in here, man. And they get a defense boost, too, not... Why can't I get any luck-based things, man? If Mantine had taken some ship, I would probably go for Meteor being here. Yeah, they're gonna stay. Right, perfect. So we take out Diancy, which is cool. No more rocks. And I have the rocks. I am the one who has the rocks. So 
So that opens up uh, Salazzle a little bit more. Heliolisk. I am plus one speed, my friend. So I don't know if there's Scarf. Let's find out. Nope. Here we go, baby. Yeah, plus one, here we go. Hoping this knocks it out after Stealth Fox Chip. And we connect. Ah, uh, Hilliolisk is a little bulky boy. See, this is why it's spelled out in you, because it's so dang... Doesn't have enough power behind it, man. That's okay, though. Chip the Heliolisk, so it's going to take more rocks chip afterwards. That's fine, though. It got rid of Diancy and shipped Heliolisk and got rid of rocks, so Star may put in its work. Talonflame. Yep. What do I have for this thing? You still can't touch me. If I'm gonna use a Diancy, I may as well use it right now. Yep, there's the U-turn. But I may as well not try and take chip on anything else though. I don't know if they're banded Braver or something, but I mean, once I see that it's not at full health, then I know I can just send in the Rotom and take it out no problem. But until then... Alright, let's see how much this would have done. Bro, that would have down it down to half! I'm gonna keep going for it. I wonder if they have defog. Alright, perfect. Because now they'll die. And then I can, um, they won't be able to roost stuff, so they'll be really low. Like, look at that. Like, two Diamond Storms would have killed at this point. Oh, I don't know if I'm dead after this. Going for it. Finally. I mean, every Manton has Roost, right? But it'll still be pretty darn low. Oh, I'm stupid then. It doesn't have a flying type, though. Wait, if it doesn't have the flying type. Oh, snap. They're going to choke here. If I get another defense boost, then I can go for um, Body Press and absolutely obliterate it. Oh, but no, it's still halved because of burn. That's so. I wish that body press wasn't halved in base power because of burn. Now they go for a defog. Okay. Good play. That kind of sucks because I really want to keep up those rocks. Alright, but I, if they choose, either they stay at half or I keep rocks up forever. This is the condition that we find ourselves in. Alright, cool. They stay at half. I'll take that honestly, man. Time being at half. This thing just comes in and is able to freely volt switch out. Yeah, but just imagine, man, if the frickin' thing... Maybe I should have predicted the roost and body press. I don't know how much it would have done anyways. Probably wouldn't have done that much considering it was burnt. 
and the fact that I'm not defensively invested, I'm spadef invested. The idea is to get the boost and then do it once you're at like plus four or something versus a steel type. It at least gives you an option versus steel types. Light budge, you gotta hurry up so I can eat my dinner dog. Yep, they switch out. So Heliolisk is gonna go down, which is cool. Alright, that's one less switch in. Time for Silvali to come in. It just sucks that dang Talon Flame is just chilling in the back. I mean, if it comes down to Talon Flame, a man time, just Volt Switch on both. I really should have put Thunderfang on this man. I just don't know about the meta that much. Plus, I just kind of threw some Pokemon I like together. I have a Mantine, but I just don't like. I don't even think my Mantine has Defog. I wish it did. I'd probably use it then. It's just like man. It just scalds, roosts, defogs, air slashes, that's it. Do I need, um... I mean, Salazzle's fast. Like, what do I need this thing for, honestly? Screw it, multi-attack. If they flare blitz, then they don't have gale wings anymore. It's fine. Alright, so there's no more opportunity for Gale Wings. Now we just come in and freely Volt Switch out. Oh, Talonflame goes down perfect. That means that the, my whole rest of my team is faster than them. All right, time for Sergeant Duxon to go in. I'm taking a choice banded first impression, CC or knockoff. It all depends on what they send in. Mantine, I feel like you definitely should die to knockoff here, right? Oh snap, they're faster. Why are you so slow, dog? Okay, we'll eat that up. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, all the hacks in the world. Come on. Why you got to do this to me? Why do you got to do this to me, dog? Every single thing that could happen. I know plus two sludge wave is not gonna kill. <sighs> Good grief, man. That frickin' sucks. 
There's no way that thing lived, lived a choice banded knockoff, bro. I mean, how do I win this game? It's gonna eat up any Spitak I throw at it. Should I just sack off Sergeant Ducks in that flinch, bro? I had that. Th oh, it's gonna hit, hit, go down to timer, anyways. I'm calking this thing right now, bro. I don't care. I know that knockoff had to have killed. And the burn too. Every single bit of hacks that could have happened happened in this battle. This is the hacksiest battle I've ever seen in my life, honestly. Um, Sir Fetched versus Man Time. Choice Band. Knock off to like full defense does like 43 to 50. And if they weren't, then it does 58 to 60. I'm assuming they were like spadef of some sort. That freaking sucks. Ugh. The hacks for that, that mantine. That's gotta be the luckiest man. That's the, the luckiest mantine I've ever seen in my life. GG's folks, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next Wi-Fi battle. Bye-bye.